In the intense confrontation, Jang Nara's eyes burned with a fiery determination as she held her gun steady, locked onto the other girl. The weight of her decision to end a life hung heavily upon her, for she believed the girl before her to be the epitome of malevolence, a force so vile and corrupt that it threatened the very fabric of society. Jang Nara's heart pounded in her chest as she contemplated the magnitude of her actions, convinced that eliminating this person was a necessary act for the greater good, but little did she know that behind the scenes, the tables were turning. Unbeknownst to Jang Nara, the government had been monitoring her every move, aware of her lethal capabilities and the havoc she could potentially wreak. They had observed her as she danced on the edge of the law, executing her grim assignments with ruthless precision. Yet, rather than eliminating her, the government had been biding their time, carefully strategizing how to neutralize this formidable weapon. The truth was, Jang Nara's proficiency as a killer had not gone unnoticed. The government recognized her unparalleled skills and sought to harness them for their own clandestine operations. They had monitored her every move, collecting invaluable data on her techniques, her motivations, and her targets. However, as Jang Nara reached the zenith of her vendetta, the government's agenda took an unexpected turn, caught between her quest for justice and the government's desire for control. Jang Nara found herself in a precarious position. While she believed she was the one pulling the strings, little did she realize that the puppeteer was none other than the government itself. They had been manipulating her, subtly guiding her actions to serve their hidden agenda. What she perceived as an act of personal righteousness was, in reality, a carefully choreographed performance orchestrated by the very organization she sought to dismantle. As Jang Nara hesitated, torn between her desire 